Hey guys, it's Marcus. I got back from Korea and I bought a lot of stuff that I like to show you. Some brands I like to recommend to you. And I'm sorry my voice is a little weird because I do have a blocked nose and I may cough throughout this video. But I hope you bear with me because I have to record these videos today. So I'm going to record a bunch of videos today. Um, because uh, I'll be really busy for the next couple of weeks because school is going to start very soon. And also, I'm going to give... Some of the stuff that I'm going to be showing in my videos actually birthday presents or things that my friends asked me to buy for them. So I have to give those away um, when I meet them, which would be like next week and week after. So I have this time today with all my things before they're all separated. And, sorry that was really loud. I'm sorry if the audio is a little bit bad because I usually use my other phone for my other videos, the one that isn't purple. Uh, but that phone died on me in Korea. I will do a rant at the end of the video, but let's get started. Um, today, I've got a stationary haul for you guys. Um, I will be separating the stationary haul into two sections, two parts, because uh, I did buy quite a lot of stuff from this brand, which is called 1537 or 1537. And this is a really, really nice brand. Just look at the paper bag. Look at how aesthetic and hipster this is. Also, this camera doesn't have the pause button, so you have to bear with me for the recording of this video. And this is, I think you can only find this in Korea. I did find a few websites that sold some stuff online, but I've never heard of this brand before. When I went there, the stuff they had was super cute. Like, I'm not even kidding about it. So this is also called, it's Ulala 1537. Um, so first, I got this. Which is, I th it's supposed to be a toiletry bag. I tore out the price tag because this, this is a gift. But the things there are like toiletry bags and pencil cases. If you get them at the clearance um, counter and, and there are some things that are really, really cheap. That they group like, for example, these things are all 3,000 won. These things are all 7,000 won. Um, but there are things that are expensive because I do think this is branded. Like, there are bags to carry around or like the more of the better quality shopping bags to the toiletry bags are really nice the ones that roll down i didn't buy those because they were quite pricey so this this is just a standard toiletry set i find this my friend as a pencil case because he has one but the zipper came off so he's using a paper clip and it's kind of sad so i hope none of my friends watch this because a lot of their gifts are in this video next i got this very cute pencil case of a pom pom. It is quite small. This is also a birthday present. Um, I'm just gonna see the price here. This I think was about either two thousand two hundred or three thousand one, which in Sing dollars would be about five dollars for a really nice pencil case. Just look at it at the color and the detail. Inside is just white, and this pom pom is really cute as well. It's coming out really weird on camera, but it's a really nice. It's actually a really light pink. <coughs> Sorry about that. Also, I got the matching eco bag. It's called Aurora Mint in the same pattern. The eco bags are quite small. I wouldn't use this for myself because I do buy a lot of things. I Let me just grab the eco-friendly bag that I bought. Please hold. Uh, so I got this green... Oh, sorry. Just saw like, my luggage that I'm like opening and slowly clearing the things. So this is just a tote bag. It's actually a green colour. I don't know why it's blue the, but the thing is it has a zip inside it comes with a um what's this thing called a strap and i also brought well, i'm so sorry this is really bad in amateur recording but i do not have a camera and i have to rely on my phones on my phone okay phones because one of them broke down this one says brilliant success outrageous i really like this one uh this one has saved my hands a lot of times during my shopping trips in Seoul. Um, number one, because it is it is a plastic cover, so it won't be... So if it rains, it isn't that bad. The inside is really nice, has a zip, and this is a button. You can also expand it, which I thought was quite nice, because sometimes you just want a thin bag, and other times you just want to stuff stuff in it. Okay, let me just throw that away. Okay, yeah, so I got the eco bag, same color as the pencil case. Next, I got a passport casing. I actually did already get a, a personalized passport casing and a e Ezlink card casing. But the passport casing there was super nice. Just look at it. 
I find this really cool because it's kind of like the idea where you have stamps from like different countries. This is how the inside looks like. Just two pockets that they give. It's really thin as well. Didn't get it easily. It didn't get an easily cut holder because I already have one. I have two, in fact, that I personalized, and I was like, "Do I really need it?" Next, I just I got this pen. Don't know where it's black and gold. I'm trying to focus. The designs are really pretty. And Korea is the land of free samples, which I'll talk about in my other videos. But I bought stuff, and I got this little Ziploc bag free <coughs> which I'm also going to give my friend because I didn't know what to get her but I'm going to put a pen inside and I also put stickers inside so it doesn't I won't feel that guilty so this is a really nice um, Ziploc it's a bit impractical to me because uh, it's only this long that might seem long on camera but it isn't long and it's quite tedious to put things like stickers inside and the stickers are really pretty I have two sets that they gave free uh, different different I purchased I purchased stuff at this shop like twice so three times one at Mount Namsan and two at two at the, near at the station where at the apartment near the apartment I was living at these are the stickers oh they did have a card with like the stories background stories of like the characters like I think her name's Aurore, and there's this other girl, and this guy. Beth threw away the card because I was like, I'm not gonna use that. So that is all I got from 1537, and I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a bit short because I just wanted to focus. Wait a minute. I am so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I, I hope you didn't leave because I'm gonna show you a really, really nice planner that I bought and I already bought a planner from Typo but this part I just ripped out the plastic because I'm but I'm gonna keep this for uni just look at it and this was 9,800 won that's approximately 12 11 dollars and I bought my Typo planner for 1990 and I'm so pissed and the thing is on the inside it is food themed so each month is like a different food theme okay, that isn't food but it's just super pretty inside and there's lots of space for you to write things, notes, and the back is just for you to write notes and whatnot. And I just thought this is for the, for the price that I was getting, and they have a lot of different designs. These are just super pretty and adorable. And if you ever go to Seoul, Korea, uh, I do recommend you check out this brand. Or if you... I can try and search online. So once again, it's Oolala. That's how you spell it. You can go check it out. 1537. Highly recommend. Super cute stationery. And at a very reasonable price. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in another part of my Korean haul video.